ISO 8601 data elements and interchange formats, information interchange, representation of dates and times is an international standard covering the exchange of date and time related data. It was issued by the International Organization for Standardization and was first published in 1988. The purpose of this standard is to provide an unambiguous and well-defined method of representing dates and times, so as to avoid misinterpretation of numeric representations of dates and times, particularly when data are transferred between countries with different conventions for writing numeric dates and times. In general, ISO 8601 applies to representations and formats of dates in the Gregorian and potentially proleptic Gregorian calendar, of times based on the 24-hour timekeeping system with optional UTC offset, of time intervals, and combinations thereof. The standard does not assign any specific meaning to elements of the date, time to be represented, the meaning will depend on the context of its use. In addition, dates and times to be represented cannot include words with no specified numerical meaning in the standard e.g., names of years in the Chinese calendar or that do not use characters e.g., images, sounds. In representations for interchange, dates and times are arranged so the largest temporal term the year is placed to the left and each successively smaller term is placed to the right of the previous term. Representations must be written in a combination of Arabic numerals and certain characters such as Quote dash quote, quote colon quote, t, w, and z that are given specific meanings within the standard. The implication is that some commonplace ways of writing parts of dates, such as January or Thursday, are not allowed in interchange representations. Topic: History. The first edition of the ISO 8601 standard was published as ISO 8601-1988 in 1988. It unified and replaced a number of older ISO standards on various aspects of date and time notation, ISO 2014, ISO 2015, ISO 2711, ISO 3307, and ISO 4031. It has been superseded by a second edition ISO 8601-2000 in 2000 and by the current third edition ISO 8601-2004 published on 1 December 2004. ISO 8601 was prepared by, and is under the direct responsibility of, ISO Technical Committee TC 154. ISO 2014, though superseded, is the standard that originally introduced the all numeric date notation in most to least significant order DD. The ISO week numbering system was introduced in ISO 2015, and the identification of days by ordinal dates was originally defined in ISO 2711. ISO 8601 is currently in the process of being updated and split into two parts anticipated to be released in 2019-03. The draft ISO, DIS 8601-1-2016 represents the slightly updated contents of the current ISO 8601 standard, whereas the draft ISO, DIS 8601-2-2016 defines various extensions such as uncertainties or parts of the extended date, time format EDTF. <laughs> General principles Date and time values are ordered from the largest to smallest unit of time, year, month, or week, day, hour, minute, second, and fraction of second. The lexicographical order of the representation thus corresponds to chronological order, except for date representations involving negative years. This allows dates to be naturally sorted by, for example, file systems. Each date and time value has a fixed number of digits that must be padded with leading zeros. Representations can be done in one of two formats, a basic format with a minimal number of separators or an extended format with separators added to enhance human readability. The standard notes that the basic format should be avoided in plain text. Quote, the separator used between date values year, month, week, and day is the hyphen, while the colon is used as the separator between time values hours, minutes, and seconds. For example, the sixth day of the first month of the year 2009 may be written as the 6th of January 2009 in the extended format or simply as 
20,090,106 in the basic format without ambiguity. For reduced accuracy, any number of values may be dropped from any of the date and time representations, but in the order from the least to the most significant. For example, 2405 is a valid ISO 8601 date, which indicates May, the fifth month, 2004. This format will never represent the fifth day of an unspecified month in 2004, nor will it represent a time span extending from 2004 into 2005. If necessary for a particular application, the standard supports the addition of a decimal fraction to the smallest time value in the representation. Topic. Dates The standard uses the Gregorian calendar, which serves as an international standard for civil use. ISO 8601 fixes a reference calendar date to the Gregorian calendar of the 20th of May 1875 as the date the Convention du Meter, Meter Convention was signed in Paris. However, ISO calendar dates before the convention are still compatible with the Gregorian calendar all the way back to the official introduction of the Gregorian calendar on the 15th of October 1582. Earlier dates, in the proleptic Gregorian calendar, may be used by mutual agreement of the partners exchanging information. The standard states that every date must be consecutive, so usage of the Julian calendar would be contrary to the standard, because at the switchover date, the dates would not be consecutive. Topic. Years ISO 8601 prescribes, as a minimum, a four-digit year y, 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 to avoid the year 2000 problem. It therefore represents years from 0000 to 9999, year 0000 being equal to 1 BC and all others AD. However, years prior to 1583 are not automatically allowed by the standard. Instead, Values in the range 000 through 1582 shall only be used by mutual agreement of the partners in information interchange. To represent years before 000 or after 9999, the standard also permits the expansion of the year representation but only by prior agreement between the sender and the receiver. An expanded year representation plus or minus y y y y y must have an agreed upon number of extra year digits beyond the four digit minimum, and it must be prefixed with a plus or minus sign instead of the more common AD, BC or CE, BCE notation. By convention 1 BC is labeled plus 0000, 2 BC is labeled minus 0001, and so on. Topic. Calendar dates. Calendar date representations are in the form shown in the adjacent box. YYYY indicates a four-digit year, 0000 through 9999. M indicates a two-digit month of the year, 01 through 12. DD indicates a two-digit day of that month, 01 through 31. For example, the 5th of April 1981 may be represented as either the 5th of April 1981 in the extended format or 19,810,405 in the basic format. The standard also allows for calendar dates to be written with reduced accuracy. For example, one may write 1981-04 to mean 1981 April. The 2000 version allowed writing 04-05 to mean April 5th but the 2004 version does not allow omitting the year when a month is present. One may simply write, 1981, to refer to that year or, 19, to refer to the century from 1900 to 1999 inclusive. Although the standard allows both the YYYYMDD and YYYYMMDD formats for complete calendar date representations, if the day DD is omitted then only the YYYYM format is allowed. By disallowing dates of the form YYYYMM, the standard avoids confusion with the truncated representation YYMMDD still often used. Topic. Week dates Week date representations are in the formats as shown in the adjacent box. YYYY indicates the ISO week numbering year which is slightly different from the traditional Gregorian calendar year see below. 
WWW is the weak number prefixed by the letter W, from W01 through W53, D is the weekday number, from 1 through 7, beginning with Monday and ending with Sunday. There are several mutually equivalent and compatible descriptions of week 01. The week with the year's first Thursday in it, the formal ISO definition. The week with the 4th of January in it. The first week with the majority, four or more, of its days in the starting year, and the week starting with the Monday in the period the 29th of December to the 4th of January. As a consequence, if the 1st of January is on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, it is in week 01. If the 1st of January is on a Friday, Saturday or Sunday, it is in week 52 or 53 of the previous year there is no week 00, the 28th of December is always in the last week of its year. The week number can be described by counting the Thursdays, week 12 contains the 12th Thursday of the year. The ISO week numbering year starts at the first day Monday of week 01 and ends at the Sunday before the new ISO year hence without overlap or gap. It consists of 52 or 53 full weeks. The first ISO week of a year may have up to three days that are actually in the Gregorian calendar year that is ending, if three, they are Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Similarly, the last ISO week of a year may have up to three days that are actually in the Gregorian calendar year that is starting, if three, they are Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The Thursday of each ISO week is always in the Gregorian calendar year denoted by the ISO week numbering year. Examples Monday, 29 December 2008 is written 2009 W01 1. Sunday, 3 January 2010 is written 2009 W53 7. Ordinal dates An ordinal date is a simple form for occasions when the arbitrary nature of week and month definitions are more of an impediment than an aid, for instance, when comparing dates from different calendars. As represented above, YYYY indicates a year. DDD is the day of that year, from 001 through 365 366 in leap years. For example, the 5th of April 1981 is also 1981 this format is used with simple hardware systems that have a need for a date system, but where including full calendar calculation software may be a significant nuisance. This system is sometimes referred to as Julian date, but this can cause confusion with the astronomical Julian day, a sequential count of the number of days since day zero beginning 1 January 4713 BC Greenwich noon, Julian proleptic calendar or noon on ISO date 24 November 4713 which uses the Gregorian proleptic calendar with a year 0000. <laughs> Time ISO 8601 uses the 24-hour clock system. The basic format is HH -M -SS and the extended format is HH -M -SS. HH refers to a zero padded hour between 00 and 24 where 24 is only used to denote midnight at the end of a calendar day. M refers to a zero padded minute between 00 and 59. SS refers to a zero padded second between 00 and 60 where 60 is only used to denote an added leap second, so a time might appear as either 134,730 in the basic format or 13 hours 47 minutes and 30 seconds in the extended format. Either the seconds, or the minutes and seconds, may be omitted from the basic or extended time formats for greater brevity but decreased accuracy, HH, M, HH, M, and HH are the resulting reduced accuracy time formats. Midnight is a special case and may be referred to as either 0 hundred or 2400. The notation 0 hundred is used at the beginning of a calendar day and is the more frequently used. At the end of a day use. 2400. The 5th of April 2007 T 2400. Is the same instant as. The 6th of April 2007 T 0 hundred. See combined date and time representations below. Decimal fractions may be added to any of the three time elements. However, a fraction may only be added to the lowest order time element in the representation. 
A decimal mark, either a comma or a dot without any preference as stated in Resolution 10 of the 22nd General Conference CGPM in 2003, but with a preference for a comma according to ISO 8601-2004 is used as a separator between the time element and its fraction. To denote, 14 hours, 30 and one half minutes, do not include a seconds figure. Represented as, 1430, 5. 1430, 5. 14 minutes 30 seconds and 5 milliseconds", or 1430.5. There is no limit on the number of decimal places for the decimal fraction. However, the number of decimal places needs to be agreed to by the communicating parties. For example, in Microsoft SQL Server, the precision of a decimal fraction is 3, i.e., yyymdddthhmss.mmm. Topic time zone designators Time zones in ISO 8601 are represented as local time with the location unspecified, as UTC, or as an offset from UTC. If no UTC relation information is given with a time representation, the time is assumed to be in local time. While it may be safe to assume local time when communicating in the same time zone, it is ambiguous when used in communicating across different time zones. Even within a single geographic time zone, some local times will be ambiguous if the region observes daylight saving time. It is usually preferable to indicate a time zone, zone designator using the standards notation. Topic coordinated Universal Time UTC. If the time is in UTC, add a Z directly after the time without a space. Z is the zone designator for the zero UTC offset. 9:30 coordinated universal time is therefore represented as 9:30 Z or 0930 Z. 14 hours 45 minutes and 15 seconds coordinated universal time would be 14 hours 45 minutes and 15 seconds Z or 144515 Z. The Z suffix in the ISO 8601 time representation is sometimes referred to as Zulu time because the same letter is used to designate the Zulu time zone. However the ACP 121 standard that defines the list of military time zones makes no mention of UTC and derives the Zulu time from the Greenwich Mean Time which was formerly used as the International Civil Time Standard. GMT is no longer precisely defined by the scientific community and can refer to either UTC or UT1 depending on context. Topic time offsets from UTC The offset from UTC is appended to the time in the same way that Z was above, in the form plus or minus HH, um, plus or minus HH, um, or plus or minus HH. So if the time being described is one hour ahead of UTC such as the time in Berlin during the winter, the zone designator would be plus 1 o'clock, plus 0100, or simply plus 01. To represent a time behind UTC the offset is negative. For example, the time in New York during standard not daylight saving hours is UTC minus 5 o'clock and the zone designator would then be minus 5 o'clock, minus 0500, or simply minus 05. For other time offsets see list of UTC time offsets. To represent a negative offset, ISO 8601 specifies using either a hyphen minus or a minus sign character. If the interchange character set is limited and does not have a minus sign character, then the hyphen minus should be used. ASCII does not have a minus sign, so its hyphen minus character code as 45 decimal or 2D hexadecimal would be used. If the character set has a minus sign, then that character should be used. Unicode has a minus sign, and its character code is U plus 2212 2212 hexadecimal. The HTML character entity invocation is in minus. The following times all refer to the same moment, 1830Z, 2230 plus 04, 1130-0700, and 1500-330. Nautical time zone letters are not used with the exception of Z to calculate UTC time one has to subtract the offset from the local time, e.g. for 1500-330, do 1500-330 to get 1830 coordinated universal time. An offset of zero, in addition to having the special representation, Z, can also be stated numerically as plus zero hundred, plus o o o o, or plus o o. However, it is not permitted to state it numerically with a negative sign, as minus zero hundred, minus o o o o, or minus o o. 
The section dictating sign usage section 3.4.2 in the 2004 edition of the standard states that a plus sign must be used for a positive or zero value, and a minus sign for a negative value. Contrary to this rule, RFC 3339, which is otherwise a profile of ISO 8601, permits the use of OO with the same denotation as plus OO, but a differing connotation, ISO 8601 permits the hyphen to be used as the minus minus character when the character set is limited. In contrast, RFC 3339 explicitly requires the hyphen symbol to represent negative offsets and does not allow for use of the minus minus symbol. Topic: <laughs> Combined date and time representations. A single point in time can be represented by concatenating a complete date expression, the letter T as a delimiter, and a valid time expression. For example, the 5th of April 2007 T 1430. If a time zone designator is required, it follows the combined date and time. For example, the 5th of April 2007 T 1430 Z, or the 5th of April 2007 T 1230 to 2 o'clock. Either basic or extended formats may be used, but both date and time must use the same format. The date expression may be calendar, week, or ordinal, and must use a complete representation. The time may be represented using a specified reduced accuracy format. It is permitted to omit the t character by mutual agreement. Topic. Durations Durations define the amount of intervening time in a time interval and are represented by the format p n y n m n d t n h n m n s or p n w as shown to the right. In these representations, the n is replaced by the value for each of the date and time elements that follow the n. Leading zeros are not required, but the maximum number of digits for each element should be agreed to by the communicating parties. The capital letters P, Y, M, W, D, T, H, M, and S are designators for each of the date and time elements and are not replaced. P is the duration designator for period placed at the start of the duration representation. Y is the year designator that follows the value for the number of years. M is the month designator that follows the value for the number of months. W is the week designator that follows the value for the number of weeks. D is the day designator that follows the value for the number of days. T is the time designator that precedes the time components of the representation. H is the hour designator that follows the value for the number of hours. M is the minute designator that follows the value for the number of minutes. S is the second designator that follows the value for the number of seconds, for example. P3Y6M4DT12H30M5S represents a duration of 3 years, 6 months, 4 days, 12 hours, 30 minutes, and 5 seconds. Date and time elements including their designator may be omitted if their value is zero, and lower order elements may also be omitted for reduced precision. For example, P23DT23H and P4Y are both acceptable duration representations. However, at least one element must be present, thus, P is not a valid representation for a duration of zero seconds. PTOS or POD, however, are both valid and represent the same duration. To resolve ambiguity, P1M is a one month duration and PT1M is a one-minute duration note the time designator, t, that precedes the time value. The smallest value used may also have a decimal fraction, as in p0, 5y, to indicate half a year. This decimal fraction may be specified with either a comma or a full stop, as in p0, 5y, or p0, 5y. The standard does not prohibit date and time values in a duration representation from exceeding their carry over points, except as noted below. Thus, PT36H could be used as well as P1DT12H for representing the same duration. But keep in mind that 
PT36H is not the same as P1DT12H when switching from or to daylight saving time. Alternatively, a format for duration based on combined date and time representations may be used by agreement between the communicating parties either in the basic format PYYYYMMDDTHHMMSS or in the extended format PYYYYMDDTHHMSS. For example, the first duration shown above would be P the 4th of June 03 T 12 hours 30 minutes and 5 seconds. However, individual date and time values cannot exceed their moduli e.g. a value of 13 for the month or 25 for the hour would not be permissible, although the standard describes durations as part of time intervals, which are discussed in the next section. The duration format is widely used independent of time intervals, as with the Java 8 duration class. Topic. Time intervals A time interval is the intervening time between two time points. The amount of intervening time is expressed by a duration as described in the previous section. The two time points start and end are expressed by either a combined date and time representation or just a date representation. There are four ways to express a time interval, start and end, such as the 1st of March 2007 t 13 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds z, the 11th of May 2008 t 15 hours 30 minutes and 0 seconds z, start and duration, such as the 1st of March 2007 t 13 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds z, p 1 y 2 m 1 o d t 2 h 3 o m, duration and end, such as p 1 y 2 m 1 o d t 2 H three O M the eleventh of May two thousand eight T fifteen hours thirty minutes and zero seconds Z duration only, such as P one Y two M one O D T two H three O M with additional context information off these. The first three require two values separated by an interval designator, which is usually a solidus, more commonly referred to as a forward slash. Section 4.4.2 of the standard notes that, in certain application areas a double hyphen is used as a separator instead of a solidus. The standard does not define the term double hyphen, but previous versions used notations like 2000 to minus 2002. Use of a double hyphen instead of a solidus allows inclusion in computer file names. A solidus is a reserved character and not allowed in a file name in common operating systems. For expressions, if any elements are missing from the end value, they are assumed to be the same as for the start value including the time zone. This feature of the standard allows for concise representations of time intervals. For example, the date of a two-hour meeting including the start and finish times could be simply shown as the 14th of December 2007 t 1330, 1530, where 1530 implies the 14th of December 2007 t 1530 the same date as the start, or the beginning and end dates of a monthly billing period as the 15th of February 2008, 0314, where 0314 implies the 14th of March 2008 the same year as the start. If greater precision is desirable to represent the time interval, then more time elements can be added to the representation. An interval denoted 2007 to 11-13/15 can start at any time on the 13th of November 2007 and end at any time on the 15th of November 2007, whereas the 13th of November 2007 t 9 o'clock 15 t 1700 includes the start and end times. To explicitly include all of the start and end dates, the interval would be represented as the 13th of November 2007 t 0000 15 t 2400. Topic repeating intervals. Repeating intervals are specified in clause 4.5 recurring time interval. They are formed by adding r n to the beginning of an interval expression, where r is used as the letter itself and n is replaced by the number of repetitions. Leaving out the value for n means an unbounded number of repetitions. If the interval specifies the start forms 1 and 2 above, then this is the start of the repeating interval. If the interval specifies the end but not the start form 3 above, then this is the end of the repeating interval. For example, to repeat the interval of P1Y2M1ODT2H3OM 5 times starting at the 1st of March 2008 T 13 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds Z, use R5, the 1st of March 2008 T 13 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds Z, P1Y2M1ODT2H3OM. 
Topic truncated representations ISO 8601 to 2000 allowed truncation by agreement where leading components of a date or time are omitted Notably this allowed two digit years to be used and the ambiguous formats YYMDD and YYMMDD This provision was removed in ISO 8601 to 2004 Topic usage On the Internet, the World Wide Web Consortium W3C uses ISO 8601 in defining a profile of the standard that restricts the supported date and time formats to reduce the chance of error and the complexity of software. RFC 3339 defines a profile of ISO 8601 for use in Internet protocols and standards. It explicitly excludes durations and dates before the Common Era. The more complex formats such as week numbers and ordinal days are not permitted. RFC 3339 deviates from ISO 8601 in allowing a zero time zone offset to be specified as 0 hundred, which ISO 8601 forbids. RFC 3339 intends 0 hundred to carry the connotation that it is not stating a preferred time zone, whereas the conforming plus 0 hundred or any non-zero offset connotes that the offset being used is preferred. This convention regarding 0 hundred is derived from earlier RFCs, such as RFC 2822 which uses it for timestamps in email headers. RFC 2822 made no claim that any part of its timestamp format conforms to ISO 8601, and so was free to use this convention without conflict. ISO 8601 is referenced by several specifications, but the full range of options of ISO 8601 is not always used. For example, the various electronic program guide standards for TV, digital radio, etc. use several forms to describe points in time and durations. The ID3 audio metadata specification also makes use of a subset of ISO 8601. The BI.690 encoding standards generalized time makes use of another subset of ISO 8601. The ISO 8601 week date, as of 2006, appeared in its basic form on major brand commercial packaging in the United States. Its appearance depended on the particular packaging, canning, or bottling plant more than any particular brand. The format is particularly useful for quality assurance, so that production errors can be readily traced to work weeks, and products can be correctly targeted for recall. Topic. Related standards Topic. See also Astronomical year numbering Date and time representation by country Horology Topic. Notes and references Topic. External links ISO's catalog entry for ISO 8601-2004 The latest prototype of ISO 8601 itself ISO, TC 154 N0039 Use International Date Format ISO, Quality Web Tips The World Wide Web Consortium W3C, ISO 8601 at Curlie ISO 8601 Summary by Marcus Kuhn Summary of 8601 by ISO at the Wayback Machine archived the 14th of June 2011 The Mathematics of the ISO 8601 Calendar W3C specification about UTC date and time based on ISO 8601 to 1988 IETF RFC 3339 based on ISO 8601 to 2000 implementation overview ISO 8601 implementation around the world.